Hi everyone, welcome to our Essentials Formulas video. So our first formula for today is Ohm's Law. I will discuss Ohm's Law and I will show you how to write it in your revision notes to ensure that you learn these formulas and hopefully will get you merits and distinctions in your exams. So, Ohm's Law. This is what I want, how I want you to lay out your uh, revision notes. So we'll have the title of Ohm's Law. And the formulas. Whenever you're going to write a formula, choose a different colour pen. So I'm going to do all of my formulas in red. And every time I write a formula, I will write all of the ways it can be uh, transposed. So Ohm's Law, what we hopefully know is B equals I R. Then we also have I equals V divide R and R equals V over I. So we've written all of the ways in which the formula can be transposed. Now we write down what each letter stands for. For this I use another colour. So I will have V equals I will have R equals and I will have I equals. So get my my black writing pen. So V equals voltage. R equals resistance. And current, or sorry, I equals current. Now go back to our blue pen, and now I'll write down its uh, its unit. So the unit of voltage is V. The unit of resistance is ohms, and the unit of current is amps. So we're talking about its SI unit there. Laying out your revision notes like this, having all of the different ways we can transpose the formula, writing down what each letter means, what each uh, letter is called, and its uh, SI unit, uh, in using the different colours actually will help it stick in your brain better. It's been scientifically proven that if you use different colours it helps it stick in your brain more. Um, and then just a small brief bit which would be helpful. So your Ohm's Law page right at the bottom. Voltage is proportional to current and that the, the mathematical symbol for that is that strange fish looking thing so that means proportional um, when Temperature remains constant. So every time we're going to write down formulas, this is how we will lay them out. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level 2 and level 3 in electrical installation. Now if you want my tabs that I have 
on mybs 7671 Visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical insulation guys, remember, be safe. Most importantly, listen to your lecturers. He or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.